Hey man, let's learn how to compress vocals in Pro Tools. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. This channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. Today, we're going to be jumping inside of Pro Tools to actually take a look at how to compress vocals using the stock Pro Tools compressor. Before we get into it, let's talk a little bit about what compression is, all right? When we get an audio signal, the signal will be pretty dynamic sometimes, right? Dynamic simply means the span between the loudest sound and the quietest sound in that signal. Now, the problem with a signal that's too dynamic is that if I set my volume fader to work perfectly for the loudest parts of the signal, well then the quieter parts of the signal might be too quiet in that mix. On the other side of that, if I set my volume fader to work for the quieter parts in the, in the signal, then the louder parts in that signal might be too loud at some parts. So we want to use a compressor to actually restrict the dynamic range. And what it's going to do is turn down those louder parts, which will allow us to turn up the overall loudness of the signal, but it'll be a more even consistent signal throughout. All right, let's take a look at how we would apply compression to a vocal in Pro Tools using the stock compressor. So we'll start to apply the compressor and then go over some of the parameters of the compressor. Let's hear it. Yeah. Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen. I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain. Mazda the moose same. My coin base like blue flames. I'm dropping gems like loose chain. All right, so you can hear some of my peaks are kind of popping out there, but some of the more subtle nuances of that vocal are getting lost. And we're going to be able to feel that vocals emotion a lot more once we can hear everything nice and clear. So in order to apply the compressor, I'm just going to go over and start in my mix window. I use command equal for this in Pro Tools, or you can go up to the window menu and choose mix to open up your mix window. Here we have our insert sections. If your inserts are not showing, just go up to the view menu, choose mixed window views, and just make sure that your inserts are showing. I'm gonna hide the rest of this stuff because we don't need it. An insert is where we apply a signal processor directly in the path of that signal. And in this case, we're gonna be using a compressor. It's gonna compress our whole vocal signal. So I'm just gonna go to any insert point, go to plugin, we're gonna go to dynamics and the stock Pro Tools compressor is called the Dyn3 compressor limiter. This is actually a really clean, good compressor to use. All right. Now I'm going to start off by walking you out through the different parameters and give you some tips on where you could start with setting your settings. So the first control that we'll talk about is the threshold. The threshold is super important. I like to use the analogy of you driving in a car with your mom and you your favorite song comes on, so you turn it up. Now, once you turn it up too loud, you're gonna activate your mom's compressor and, and that you crossing her threshold, she's gonna reach over and start to turn it down. So the point when the signal gets too loud or exceeds whatever threshold we've set, that's when the compressor is going to activate. The threshold tells the compressor at which level to start compressing. Okay, now let's go to attack time. Attack basically is going to be how long after the signal has exceeded the threshold does it take for that signal to become fully compressed. Now, once the signal recedes from the threshold, the release time will determine how long will the compressor take to actually release the compression for the signal to go back to its normal state. The amount of compression is controlled by the ratio. A ratio will typically be described in terms like three to one, four to one, two to one. And what that means, if I'm using a ratio of three to one, that means for every three dB that exceeds my threshold, only one dB will allow will be allowed to pass. So a two to one ratio means that for every two dB that exceeds the threshold, only one dB will allow to pass. That's pretty light compression. If I turn it up to like, let's say 100 to 1, that means that every 100 dB that exceeds my threshold, only 1 dB will be allowed to pass. And that's really, really squashing that, man. I love that this compressor gives you that option, though, to get a ratio all the way up, up to 101. That's really like brick wall limiting. That's saying, hey, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> all right. So the other control here that we're going to talk about is going to be the knee. The knee simply refers to how smooth the transition is going to be from the compressed from the uncompressed state 
to the compressed state. If you have a high knee, that would be a very gradual transition from being uncompressed to compressed. Where if you have a shorter knee, a more acute knee here, it's gonna be a quicker, more abrupt transition from uncompressed into compressed. Now for working on a vocal, I like to be somewhere in the middle range there to where I have a nice smooth knee, not too soft, not too hard of a knee, okay? Now, ultimately, a lot of people like to think that a compressor is going to help us to make our signals louder. And it can. It can give us the ability to make the signals louder by truncating or uh, attenuating the loudest parts in our signal. That way we can bring up the whole signal as a whole. To do that, after we've done our compression, we use this little gain knob here, also known as makeup gain, because what we're doing is making up for the gain that was lost during the compression. One of the first parts that I'll start at while compressing is actually working with my threshold. I'll also set my ratio before I even get started, even though I might fiddle with this. Typically, when I'm compressing a vocal, I like to be somewhere in between three to six to one of a ratio so starting off at about you know a four to one or something is going to be good starting place for this compression on the vocal and if i need to take it up a little more then i can let's start to play with it though and listen i'm gonna go ahead and mute the beat and just focus on this vocal um yeah getting paid in the off season all that beat Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me Young Heathen. I keep that heated. Right? I love this compressor, Stockton Pro Tools. It's really simple. It has a gain reduction meter here so we can see how much gain reduction we have. We have our input meter as well. And we have our threshold signified by the little arrow here, right? So what I like to do, especially starting out, since I am trying to control my peaks with the compressor i'll watch the input and just grab the top and have my threshold set at the, just at the loudest parts of that signal to where those are what's getting compressed getting paid in the off season all that beef i'm not vegan they used to call me young heathen i keep that heat it's op season and that seems like a great spot for that threshold i might even lower it a little bit more but that's a great spot to start getting paid in the off season all that beef i'm not vegan they used to call me young heathen i keep that heat it's op season now what you will notice though is that my gain reduction really isn't kicking in that's because my attack time is not fast enough in this case i'm gonna go ahead and bring my attack time to be a little bit faster to catch those peaks as they're crossing over the threshold. Getting paid in the off season, all that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen, I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain, Mazda the moose same, my coin base like blue flames, I'm dropping gems like loose chain. And you always want to play with the release time too, just to find a nice comfortable feeling to where the compressor has time to recover before the next transient, but also is helping to bring up any uh, nuances in that vocal signal. Getting paid in the off season, all that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen, I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain, Mazda the moose same, my coin base like blue flames, I'm dropping gems like loose change. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, so now I'm going to actually analyze this as I'm playing it just to see how much gain reduction I'm getting. Let's take a look. Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They all right, so that looked like about almost negative six uh, of gain reduction. So we're reducing about 60 B. So I can add that back by using my makeup game. Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen. I keep that heat, it's op season. Now let's listen to how this vocal sounds back in with the beat. Now let's listen to how this vocal sounds back. Now let's listen to how this vocal sounds put back in with the beat. And uh, I'll bypass it and unbypass it so we can hear the difference. All right. So let's start off bypass and then we'll bring it back in. Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen. I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain. Mazda the moose same. My coin base like blue flames. I'm dropping gems like loose chain. Oh man, let's hear that one more time with that compression in there. Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen. I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain. Mazda the moose same. My coin base like blue flames. I'm dropping gems like loose chain. 
the presence of that vocal has really been brought to the forefront and i love how compression works on vocals man it doesn't take a whole lot to learn this it does take you to listen and listen critically um make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'll be dropping a whole lot more pro tools videos and we got hellas of them already i'm wavy wayne from wavywayne.com be dope Oh, 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 oh,